identity is an instant thing that happens because it's so close to the soul level. And once you make that decision, it's a matter of you approaching your life from the identity level. Hi, Catherine. I'm so stuck on the hierarchy of change. How do I change my identity? Is it simply just a decision? How do I embody this new identity? Once I change at the identity level and start to reprogram the beliefs, how do I avoid being overwhelmed by this process? There are so many things I want to manifest, abundance, confidence, being seen, releasing weight, healing my relationship with my body, thriving business, etc. Loving MBA so far. Thank you. Yes, it is simply a decision. So when you make a decision, you alter the timeline of your life, whether you realize it or not. So when you decide that your new self image or identity is, you know, whatever it needs to be in order for you to manifest those things. So whatever falls, I am, you are actually instantly shifted. The only thing is, is that our nervous systems don't always instantly shift with the energy. So that's why we work on a mind, body, spirit level, because there's the energetic shifts that happen just like this. Literally, the moment you think of something, it's already done. That's why we say it's already done. According to the universe, there is no time. Time is a human construct, right? Time is for the mind. The mind is what creates time. And, you know, there's also the mental level and then there's the physical level. So on the physical level in our bodies, we might not feel it to be true yet, which is why it can take repetition. It can take practice. It can take baby steps. Baby steps are really powerful. This is why I talk about how quantum leaps are not in the big, enormous action steps that you take, though those are valuable. And yes, in some cases, you're going to be taking massive leaps. Like you're going to just go from like A to point Z and like zero to 100 real quick. And sometimes that's going to be the case. But most of the time it's in the baby steps. It's literally like, for example, you know, the version of you who um, has already released the weight. If they go to bed at 9 p.m. and they eat, you know, really healthy breakfast, whatever healthy means for you, whatever works for your body, you know, at 9 p.m. every single day then it's every single day just being like, okay, today my job is to go to bed at 9 p.m. So I'm going to go to bed at 9 p.m. Okay, today my job is to eat a very healthy breakfast because the version of me who already has XYZ or is XYZ, they would eat a healthy breakfast today. So that's what I'm going to do. It's in those baby steps because eating that healthy breakfast every single day over 100 days, 200 days, 300 days, getting enough sleep, going to bed at 9 p.m. or whatever it is for you. Every single day compounded over time is the quantum leap, okay? Those tiny little action steps is what allows your nervous system to calibrate so that it doesn't get overwhelmed and freak out. I know I mentioned this on Instagram in a post, but before I got here to um, Africa, to Rwanda and to Kenya, I was upper limiting like crazy. My nervous system was so out of whack for the last month to the point where I started manifesting weird body things, things in my business, things in my relationship, things at home, just all kinds of weird stuff started to come up. And it's because sometimes you are a little too fast, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, quantum leaps is something to celebrate. It's awesome. Um, obviously my team and I quantum leaped in this last launch, which is so exciting. Um, it's a huge celebration for us and I'm really, really proud of us. And I'm really grateful to each and every single one of you guys who helped us make it happen. And of course, now you guys get to benefit from it and you get to benefit from this program. So lots of great stuff, but it's like my body wasn't ready for so much so fast. Like so many things manifested so quickly So there is value in the baby steps. There is value in going slow. I think that for so many people, they put way too much emphasis on like, I need the car tomorrow. I need the business to be at seven figures by 2 p.m. today. Or I need to get married by Monday. And I need to have a child by Tuesday. And I need to move into a mansion by Wednesday. 
And it's like, you know, we celebrate that when people, you know, have these crazy, you know, goals manifested so quickly. It's so celebrated. So we think that if we're not doing that, then we're doing something wrong. But you're not doing anything wrong if you're going slowly too. And there are some things that are manifesting for me this year that have been on my list since 10 years ago. And am I shaming myself for that? Absolutely not. It's okay for something to be on your vision board for a decade, right? You're going to manifest this stuff when you're ready for it. So that being said, identity is an instant thing that happens because it's so close to the soul level. And once you make that decision, it's a matter of you approaching your life from the identity level. Because the moment you decide, I am successful, you are going to ask yourself every single day in the tiniest little things that you do, the version of me who's already successful, what are they going to eat for lunch? What are they going to read today? Are they going to engage in this argument with a stranger on Instagram today? Are they going to read the comment section on TikTok, which can I just tell you, one of the most toxic comment sections right now is probably TikTok. It used to be YouTube. I know there's a lot on Facebook and Instagram, but holy shit, TikTok, people love to argue. There is great content on TikTok. I love TikTok for the creators and the actual content, but holy fuck, like I can ignore the comment section and be happy for the rest of my life because you can get so caught up in it and just argument, argument. It's like, no matter what it is, Mother Teresa can go on TikTok and make like a TikTok about saving the planet you know, saving the world. And it's like, someone's got to argue. So maybe you can ask yourself with the version of me, you know, who's already successful when they get caught up in the TikTok comment section, right? So like little things like that. Um, And then you can ask yourself, like, what are they choosing to believe about their worth before they start their work day? Right? So you can approach it on those other levels, but you're coming from the identity level. You're coming from the version of me, right? The be, do, have model. First you be, I am. That version of you does certain things and then you have certain things. 